In this video, I want to introduce you to the position function in one dimension. It's important to know that the position function is a vector function of time. That means it's a function where you input a time and what you get out of it is a vector. What does this vector tell you? Well, this vector gives you a location of something. I have a function x of t given by 20 minus 10 t, and my position here is in units of meters. So here's a mathematical representation of a position function in one dimension. Let's look at it in a different representation. In fact, let's look at a tabular representation. We can get ourselves a table that for specific values of time, say 0, 1, 2, 3, we can find specific positions at t is equal to 0. If I put 0 into this function, I get 20. If I put uh, 1 into this function, I get 10. If I put 2 into this function, I get 0. And then 3, I get negative 10. And I was told here that these are in meters. So here I have a, a tabular representation, gives me the location for specific points in time. This function tells me that at t is equal to 0, this function gives me the following vector. It has a magnitude of 20 meters, and it's pointing along the positive x-axis. At t is equal to 1, I have a vector of magnitude 10 pointing in the uh, positive x-axis. At 2, I have the 0 vector, no magnitude at all. And at t is equal to 3 seconds, I have a vector whose magnitude is 10, and it's pointing on the negative x-axis. Remember, these are still vectors, but in one dimension, the absolute value of the number gives us a magnitude, while the sign gives us the direction. Just to complete our picture, looking at the different uh, representations, let's look at a graphical representation. Uh, 0 is 20, 1 is at 10, 2 is at 0, 3 is at negative 10, and so I have a sort of straight line through those four points. And so this is now a graphical representation of this mathematical function. Okay, let's do uh, one more example. And in this case, I'll look at this function, a mathematical representation, y of t is equal to 20t minus 10 t squared. Now a mathematical representation of my vector function in time in one dimension. Let's do it again. Let's get a tabular uh, representation of some points. At this point, if I plug in 0 into this function, I get 0. So if I put uh, 1 second into this function, I get y is equal to 10. If I put 2 into this function, that's 40 minus 40, that's 0. And put 3 into that function, I get negative 30, uh, 60 minus 90. Again, let's take a, a schematic representation of, of what's going on here. Now I'm, I'm going to put my y-axis, I can put it any, any direction I want, I'm going to put my y-axis going up, the negative y going down, and so at t is equal to 0, this vector is, is 0, it has no magnitude. At t is equal to 1, it's giving me a vector of with magnitude 10, and it's pointing in the positive y-axis. It's again giving me a 0 vector, and at t is equal to 3 seconds, it's giving me a vector of magnitude 30, that's pointing in the negative y direction. If we were to look at a graphical representation of this one, t is equal to 0, I have the uh, 0 vector. At t is equal to 1, it's at 10. At t is equal to 2, it's at 0 again. And t is equal to 3, it's at negative 30. So what sort of thing does this represent? Well, we know this is a quadratic equation. The graph that this represents is a parabola. I can sketch that parabola. Do I know exactly that the maximum is at t is equal to 1 second? Maybe not just by this graph, but if I know some calculus, I know how to calculate the maximum of a function. So I can differentiate this function dy dt is equal to then 20 minus 20t. 
So that's the derivative of that function. And if I set that equal to zero, I can find the time at which this function is either maximized or minimized. And that gives me t is equal to one. That convinces me that I have a, that the maximum of my parabola here is at t is equal to one. But the main point here is just to introduce the one dimensional vector function of time in all of its different representations, reminding ourselves that it's still a vector where the direction is given by the sign of the number.